What's up guys, it's your boy Gob, and today we're going to talk about the new Crucible stuff that's going down and everything that's been happening with Patch 2.0 Crucible. Um, as you guys know, Patch 2.0 dropped last week and has been absolutely incredible. Uh, I love I love everything about this patch so far. It's just it's just so fulfilling, it's so satisfying. I'm not going to lie, the first two rounds I, I hopped into Crucible, everyone was using auto rifles. I was so, I was like, dude. Yeah! <laughs> like, it was so sick. I'm so stoked to see auto rifles back in the meta. Um, it's a huge game changer. Like, once again, the first round I played of Crucible, I was just so blown away. The, the fact that people were using auto rifles again. It's just a fascinating thing to see. I'm super stoked. Um, for a lot of the Crucible rounds, I rocked the Vestian Dynasty this week. Um, I, I, you'll see a video later on me talking about that a little bit more. I love sidearms. Sidearms are going to be awesome come the Titan King. And I'm super stoked for more that are going to come. You know, at first I really thought, you know, the balancing wasn't going to be that cool and they're going to rake a lot of guns and it's going to be mayhem. It's not going to work out the way they wanted it to be, you know what I mean? But so far from what I could tell, this, this balance patch feels like it's really balanced everything. Even Necrochrams Chasm's a little OP right now, but it's like the right amount of OP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not too bad, it's just perfect. And I, 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 like I said, I just love it so much. And I've been rocking the last word a lot more so recently, just kind of playing around with it. And, you know, I was expecting with patch 2.0, my last word would actually be broken. And it, you know, it's, it's not. It feels just as good as it felt before, maybe a little bit worse, but otherwise, it's awesome. I think it's a great gun still, and I'll use it over and over again, continuously, every day, all day, conference style, you know what I'm saying? And while we're talking about the hand cannons that got nerfed, of course, there's the thorn as well. And the thorn was like... Man, we thought the thorn was going to be broken as fuck, but like, it, it's still good. It's still, the thorns, you can still rock the thorn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Now, as you guys know, of course, we had Arms Day last week, and this week we get to pick up something if you finished up Arms Day, which is really cool. Um, I will say out of the Arms Day weapons in Crucible, the Amelon Sniper was probably the worst. Everyone can agree that the Amelon Sniper was slow and clunky and it felt weird and nobody, nobody liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like... I, I was in that boat, I tried that thing and I, I don't like it at all, but I will say this rifle, man, oh my god, Hake, the Hake school is insanely awesome, I'll be repping Hake all day, er day, you feel me, and Tex Mechanica, that's my jam, Amelon's cool and all, but when it comes to real hearty gun noises and gun sounds and gun slanging for days, I'm all about that Hake life, okay, super chill, super cool. All about it. I rocked it in Rift, I rocked it in Control, I rocked it in Rumble, I rocked that Hockey Pulse Rifle, and like, everything. That thing is sweet, I can't get enough of it. Um, there's that, and of course, you know, they, they had a couple other weapons like the Hockey Sniper Rifle, uh, that Fusion Rifle by Amelon, which was pretty OP as well. That Fusion Rifle has like, a disgusting amount of range. Has anyone noticed that? That thing is sweet. That thing is like, and it's like, accurate, you know, and it sounds cool. It just sounds like a blip. It's like, just one of those badass weapons, you know? Um, apparently, the Warlock specific fusion rifle would be very similar to how the Amelon one works, which is super cool. So I'm pretty stoked for that. I know this week for Arms Day, I'll probably be picking up that Hack A Pulse rifle. I'll, I'll be grabbing that for sure. I'm all about that life. Now let's talk a little bit about game types. Uh, Mayhem, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayhem. So Bungie came up with Mayhem when a bunch of guys just sat in a room and just said, Hey, let's just make it so our supers recharge super quick and heavy drops every minute. And, uh, and we give extra bonus points to everything and it'd be super cool. And they did that. And they kept it there. And I hope it's there to stay because that's incredible. That's super awesome. Like, literally super awesome. Haha, <laughs> get it? Supers? <laughs> And I thought during Mayhem, you know, gunslingers would be like obviously the, the main choice because they could just slang around and be gun slanging everywhere. But you gotta remember, you gotta aim, you gotta aim the gun slanging. You gotta slang the guns to actually get the slanging gun kills. You know what I'm saying? Gun slinging for days. But like, nah, man. Titans are messing shit up, and like Hunter's Blade Dance. I love that stuff. I just went to Diz and ran around and killed people. It was super sick. Yeah, Mayhem's lots of fun. I'm digging Mayhem, that's for sure. Uh, Rift is also super cool. I was hoping we'd finally get a a capture a capture the flag game type, and we finally did. I'm super stoked on that. Uh, what you're watching probably isn't Rift gameplay right now, but I like Rift. I do like Rift. I do. And you can already tell there's gonna be some hardcore Rift players. I just like from what I experienced so far in the last week. Damn, dude. Some some people are really good at Rift. It's like kind of it's like kind of disgusting. You know, it's it's kind of gross. You know what I'm saying? Like, how am I supposed to win <laughs> against good teams? That's balls. And I will for sure say I'm gonna miss Trials of Osiris. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's I know that's all we got. We don't get to enjoy Trials of Osiris. We don't get to, we don't get to visit Tolan's little corner anymore. You know what I'm saying? Or what people say is Tolan's corner on on uh, was it Mercury? Yeah, Mercury. It's kind of 
kind of BS, but hey, you know, Trials of Osiris will come out later on next year, or this year, or whatever, and we'll talk about it then, of course, but I'm going to miss Trials of Osiris. In the meantime, of course, we're going to just enjoy Skirmish and whatnot. Um, I kind of wish that with them taking away Trials of Osiris right now, I really do wish that Bungie just added, like, a private matchmaking game type or something like that. That would be super cool, so... Yeah, and that's all I really got to talk about for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of talk about New Crucible and how I felt about it. Um, I will be doing a Destiny hype video before Taken King, and you guys will see that and probably hear that. Your whole house will hear that because it'll be super loud because it'll be HYPE! Yeah! So as I always say, drop a like for your boy, Goblins, and I'll be back here with more Destiny content shortly. I apologize for being absent for a while. I've been taking care of a sick person in my house, my sick girlfriend, and uh, just working lots in preparation for Taken King. So yeah. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for more Destiny content. Stay subscribed, and I'll see y'all then. Peace out! Lord, oh my god, would you just look at that? Yo! Oh my god. Helm of Saint 14, let's go. Let's go. Let's oh my god. What the f Fuck, this is crazy. This is actually extremely mind-blowing. That's so cool. I can't get over it. That's...